An Alabama woman born with an extra uterus is captivating the internet and medical professionals with a pregnancy that's literally one in a million. The woman is reportedly pregnant with two girls, one in each uterus, news.com has learned. Kelsey Hatcher, 32, found out about her double pregnancy in the spring when she was eight weeks along. She and her husband Caleb are raising their other three children, ages 7, 4 and 2, in Dora, an Alabama city about 25 miles northwest of Birmingham. When she was a teenager, doctors discovered Hatcher had been born with an extra uterus, a condition called uterus didelphus only found in about 0.3% of women, a specialist at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, Richard Davis, told the Washington Post. Each uterus also has its own cervix, fallopian tube and ovary, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Having a fetus growing in each uterus, however, is even more rare, occurring in 1 in 1 million women, Davis said, according to the newspaper. OB slash GYNs go their whole careers without seeing anything like this, Shweta Patel, a doctor also treating Hatcher, told WVTM TV. Both sets of reproductive organs are fully functional, and the doctors said Hatcher's fetuses were healthy. However, because her condition is so rare, the pregnancy is considered high risk. Doctors said the delivery of the babies could prove to be challenging. Patel said there was a good chance each uterus could begin contractions at different times. This meant there was also a possibility the sisters could be born hours, days, or even weeks apart. Hatcher and her husband learned they were expecting two girls, and though she was technically experiencing two separate pregnancies, doctors referred to the babies as fraternal twins. I think medically, this is such a rare thing that we don't have a better way of describing it besides still calling them twins, Patel told WVTM-TV. Hatcher's first three pregnancies were reportedly normal, and she carried them to term without any complications. A team of doctors will reportedly be standing by on Hatcher's due date, which is Christmas Day, WVTM-TV reported.